friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the smoothies that I like to make on this smoothie challenge. I'm basically just gonna give you a little rundown of what I'm doing so that if you want to do it, you can do it too. Okay, so let's start off with breakfast. The first thing I like to do when I wake up in the morning is have some fruit water. And basically what that is, is just water that has maybe some, I do, I switch it up all the time. Sometimes I like it just to be with water and lemon and sometimes it's water with fruit. Now when I add the water with fruit, what I like to do is I get the water, I put the fruit in there, and then I put it in the fridge, and I like to leave it overnight because this way it gives the water uh, time to absorb all, all of the flavor, which makes it taste even better. And also, let's just say you're doing this smoothie challenge in the winter. What you can do is you can warm up your smoothies and you can warm up your water. Just warm it to touch. And what I mean by that is just, you know, dip your finger in there, in the, you know, when you have it, when you're warming it up, just dip your finger in there. As soon as it's warm to touch to the finger, you know, turn it off. And it will not kill any of the enzymes or anything else. It'll just be perfect for you, okay? So you can do this in the winter if you want to do this in the winter. So after I have my morning hydration, what I like to do is start off with a smoothie that has fruit and green. Usually it's bananas with any other type of fruit that I want and some greens. Now always remember to rotate your greens. For example, I'll give you an example, like you can have bananas with maybe some blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, anything you want really, mangoes, and then some greens. After I put all of that in the blender, I mix it up, I like to sprinkle some chia seeds on top of that, maybe like half a teaspoon of chia seeds. And also remember to chew your smoothie. This is important because digestion starts in the mouth. So when you chew, this lets your stomach know that, hey, you know, I'm getting some food here. So, you know, let's, let's get this on the road. <laughs> so anyway, um, so make sure you chew your smoothie. It will help with digestion. Then let's say, now let's go to lunch. To lunch is kind of the same as the breakfast, kind of the same, you know, I'll switch up the fruit. And if you want to, this can be as simple as, you know, getting some bananas, some dates, and some greens. After you mix it up together, just put a little bit of chia seeds or flax seeds, whichever you prefer, and you can have that for breakfast or lunch. Now for dinner, this is where it's a little bit different. This is where I like to do it more like like a V8 style smoothie or a salad smoothie is what I like to call it too. Because basically what it is, is everything that you put in a salad, just put it in a blender and blend. That's the salad one. And then after that, which is usually, okay, so let me give you an example. So usually like for dinner, like I said, anything that you put in a salad, you know, the greens, the tomatoes, the carrots, you know, a little bit of cilantro if you like that, a little bit of spices, green peppers, you know, all the stuff that you would mix into your salad, put it in the blender, mix it up, and there's your smoothie. Also, don't forget, for dinner, I do like to also add the fats, the majority of the fats. With, with the dinner smoothie, I like to add the fat, or the majority of the fat, I should say. So there you can add you can add some nuts or seeds. You can add some tahini. You can add some, you can add any kind of fat that you would like. Also, another thing that I like to do for dinner is if I don't have the salad smoothie, I like to have the V8 smoothie, which basically that is everything that you would find in the V8 juice. But of course we don't drink those, but you know, with all the things that would go in there would basically is the stuff that I would put in to the blender and it kind of gives it a V8 style, because I used to like those a long time ago, and I remember, and I know all the things that go in there, so um, you can look online too. You can just Google it, you know, and kind of see all the stuff that goes in there, and then put all of that in a blender. Now, one thing about the dinner is that with all these greens and veggies and stuff that you're gonna eat, and you put it in the blender, you're not gonna get that many calories from that. So what you wanna do is, you need to get your calories from somewhere. And where I like to get it from is from dates. So I always have dates on hand for the dinner portion because the dinner portion is where 
I put a lot of dates in there so that I can make sure that I'm getting my calories for the dinner meal. And that's it, friends. That's my breakfast, lunch, and dinner pretty much on this smoothie challenge. I hope you guys are doing this too. Let me know below how your how the smoothie challenge is going for you. I'm really enjoying it. I have tons of energy. I feel awesome. I can't wait to share a lot more information with you guys. Also, if you need support on this journey, if you're on this journey and you need support and you want help, join my Raw Vegan Boss community. We will help you there. We will encourage you, motivate you, help you accountable and, and show you much love because I know how this is. I know how difficult it can be when you have no one who understands, no one outside understands what you're going through, what you, why you're doing what you're doing. They just don't understand. So they, it's not that they don't probably want to support you or anything like that. It's just that they, they don't know any better. They don't know. So they can't, if they don't know, they can't help you. Join the Raw Vegan Boss Academy and we will help you there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, one more one more thing I want to say is don't forget my ebooks are 40% off. Use the code RAWVEGAN40 and I will see you guys on my next video. Have a good one, guys.